In this video, we're going to talk about how you can level up your WordPress website development business. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress videos for non-techies. And if you enjoy the content in this video, I'd like to ask you to consider clicking on the subscribe button and if you want video notifications there's a little bell off to the right of the subscribe button you click on that and YouTube will notify you when I have new videos made just for you so in this video we're gonna talk about it's well it's primarily for people that are building websites for other people but it even goes for me I, I don't build a website for people anymore I have my own website that I always am trying to improve and make as good as I possibly can make it so in this video we're gonna talk about I guess that is uh, leveling up your business of building websites for people or if you're maybe a individual that is at home all the time working from home I think this video will work good for you and I've actually been working from home solely from home for the last three years my video studios at home. I pretty much am at home all of the time. And so some of the things that I'm going to talk about are really going to help people in that situation as well. And so the first thing I want to talk about is plugging in. That is the best thing that I have found to level up your business of building website is plugging into the right groups of people and the right types of content to really help get your mind out of the bubble that you can easily find yourself into. We're all susceptible to that where we can just, our whole thinking just becomes inside a little bubble and we got to kind of poke that bubble and get outside of the bubble. And so I want to talk about some reasons resources right now to help you to do that and I guess that's the main concept of this video is getting outside of that bubble that we can sometimes put ourselves in especially if you are working from home and not in an office with other individuals so first of all I want to talk about some resources for learning and uh, hearing about other web developers and what they're doing successfully and a great list of resources are some of these podcasts that you might find and I want to share with you some of the ones that I personally listen to one of my favorites is from Lee Jackson and his podcast is called WP Innovator and uh I really love his insight and the different content and the people he's bringing on for this podcast. And you can find this at his website, Angled Crown. And essentially, he has a web development and design business. And he has a wealth of knowledge and experience on that and different strategies. And he's bringing people on that share their strategies and how they're growing their business or their web development business has become even more successful. I really appreciate that. Another one is WP Builds. And this one has been primarily geared around the Beaver Builder community, the people that use Beaver Builder as a tool to build their website. But it's actually fine for all kinds of different web developers that are using all different kinds of tools. He, They are actually the two folks that run this are big contributors in the Beaver Builder community. And they're really great guys. And I actually have listened to many of their different podcast episodes that you can find here. And you can find them at WPBuilds.com. I really like them. And another one is WP Tonic, and you can find this at wptonic-tonic.com. And I've actually been a panelist on their podcast, but it's also a video or listening. You could watch the video version of it, or you could listen to it. And I've been on a couple of these lately. I was on 196 right here about landing page tools. I was on 194 right here, which was useful WordPress plugins. I'm going to miss the show this Friday. It's live every Friday, but you can come here and watch the recorded version or listen on iTunes or whatever. What I like that's different about this show is there's a panel of people, so there's lots of ideas and lots of different ideas, which is very fun. It's a really good listen. I know the topic coming up this Friday is all about membership plugins, and there's going to be some more topics coming up about running a business on the WordPress ecosystem. And so that is 
A place where you can find me outside of my YouTube channel is right here, and you can kind of hear my unscripted comments on things. I have to make sure to watch my tongue because sometimes I can say things that I probably wouldn't say if I had thought through it um, and knowing it's going to be out there, but that's okay. You can see the real me there um, right here on WP Tonic on Fridays. Next, I want to talk about a more uh, intimate way of plugging in, and this would be joining Facebook. Facebook groups for the different products or services that you might use or also the more broad Facebook group. So all these podcasts I've talked about here, the WP Innovator podcast, they have a Facebook group and it's really a high quality Facebook group where you have people that are building websites for other people and you can ask questions. It's probably one of my favorite smaller more intimate Facebook groups and WP builds I'm actually not in their Facebook group but I know that they have one as well and the one you'll see me a lot of times in is right here it's the uh, beaver builder Facebook group and I do have a link if you go to my website and click on my beaver builder resource link it's going to be right here but I'll put a link down below in the video description to it and it's funny I was actually looking at this the text I had here it says almost eight thousand members well when I actually first put this page up they were at three thousand members so it's a highly uh, growing group and it's not just about beaver builder and that's what I like about this group there's a lot of high-end quality web developers that are really contributing back and forth and it's just a great way to bounce your ideas off of other people and see what their experiences are and I really feel this plugging in is a really good good thing especially if you work from home and with working at home comes isolation it helps you to feel a little less isolated and it's actually been one of my go-to things I really have been enjoying the various Facebook groups that you'll find me in and there's another one as well for Elementor it's a page builder based one but I really like the quality that I uh, and the experience in the WP Innovator Facebook group and there's a variety of them as well um, and another thing that you could do is go to these things called word camps I'll confess I've never been to one but the one that I have up I'm actually going to be at and it's it's actually not this weekend, it's next weekend, June 10th and 11th. You can actually see this list of attendees right here, and there I am. I'm actually going to attend this. I've never been to one. But I'm going to go there and I'm going to get to meet a lot of people that I've talked to on Facebook. And I'm going to get to meet some of the developers and creators of the products that I use to power my business. For example, here, the uh, people behind Beaver Builder are going to be there. The people behind Divi are going to be there. The people behind the Give plugin, which I did a review on recently, are going to be there. You can go here and you can see this long list of people that are going to be there. And if you're actually going to be there, come and say hi. I'm not going to know anyone really at all there I'm going anyway um, and I'll be there all weekend so definitely come and say hi it'd be good to meet you and so so these word camps essentially what they are they're organized and they're all over the world and it's typically a weekend of events there's a, a round of speakers on different topics and a lot of them have different uh, tracks so you have like a beginner to WordPress track that probably wouldn't be you but then they have business tracks and that probably would be you and it's a, a great resource to meet people people I haven't been to one uh, I know people that have been to them and I've heard that they can also be a lot of fun hopefully I won't get into too much trouble now another resource is primarily going to be for people that are in the business of building websites for other people and that's over at WP Elevation and what they do is they have they only open it up I think three or four times per year they probably have the most reputable highest quality in-depth business training program for web developers so they are actually have opening enrollments right now I think it just opened up um, a little while ago and they also have a ton of free content that's great to go there and listen to they also have a podcast and I've listened to some of those episodes as well but you can go and see right here it is a membership program and a uh, blueprint of strategies for uh, structuring and growing your WordPress consultancy business and 
I am not a part of this membership program, and the reason is because I don't build websites for other people, but on my YouTube channel and on Facebook group, I'm interacting with people that are in the WordPress website building business, and I see nothing but rave reviews for this WP Elevation training program, but I think the real value in it, well, first of all, the value is in the actual training on how to structure your business, and I think what they are really gearing you towards is opening your mind in productizing your business and really having some structure in there and some strategies to structure it in a way that just makes sense. Um, the thing with building websites for people, it's there's like no barriers to entry, right? My neighbor can one day decide that they want to build websites for people. They can watch a video on YouTube, learn how to use WordPress and say, here's a website for this much money. But there's a lot more to successfully running a WordPress-based business like that. And that is the strategies you're going to learn in this training program. But what I think the greater value in is in this is, is the structured mentoring and the community of people that are going through this process together. So you can go to the uh, website here. I'll have a link down below and you can see everything that's involved in the uh, program. And there's a lot of uh, back and forth involvement. I do know that they have lots of conference calls where you can uh, interact with the different instructors and the larger community. You can see right here, the program also has uh, 58 webinars, six weekly grouping coaching calls, uh, just so much to it. But I think the real value is going to be right here is in their uh, private only mem members only Facebook group. I think that's where you're going to really get the value out of this program. You're going to get it out of all of it, obviously, but I think that right there is the money. And they've got a ton of resources in there, uh, documents, resources, marketing materials, everything you could want to really be serious about your business of building websites for people. And this is really where that bubble is, where you can easily find yourself in a bubble in how to charge for things and how to structure things things and you can just find yourself in this bubble if you really want to bust out of that bubble and see things in a broader view and probably see a lot of areas where you're leaving money on the table it's definitely going to be in the WP Elevation training program so you can come here I'll give you a link down below and you can read all about it now I will tell you that it's not a cheap program and that's actually good and bad right I mean who wants to spend a lot of money on something but for your business and th this is really it this is really it I would have no hesitation joining WP Elevation if I was in the business of building websites for other people it's pretty amazing I'm going to actually show you the pricing right here it's not cheap like I said so to purchase the course it's $1,500 and they have a payment plan, so the 12-month payment plan, it's only $167 per month. I, I I find parting with a chunk of money, $1,500, that's a lot of money to part with. I probably personally wouldn't do that, but I could easily see myself doing the $297 a month for six months or the $167 uh, a month for 12 months for everything that it will bring to your business. I think your ROI, meaning you're investing this into your business, would be so high with this. You will get so much more out of it on your business. If you're serious about having a very successful business developing websites for other people. Uh, so anyways, this is WP Elevation. I will have a link down below, but I definitely want to encourage you to at least take a look at it and see if it's something for you. But I've talked about a lot of different resources in this video, and I'm going to add them all down below so you can just click and go where you need to go or want to go. And now I actually want to open it up for you to kind of join in on this discussion in the comment section down below. If there's something that I left out, I know there are other podcasts. I know there are other high quality Facebook groups and there are other things and resources out there. I want to ask you to share them down below or maybe some strategies of how you have been able to kind of plug in, get out of the bubble and how you've been able to do that.